Hi there. So in the new style of the, the drawer navigation system in CRM, you'll notice that the 32 by 32 pixel icons that we used to use in the areas of the sitemap, when you upgrade, they look, <clears throat> well, rather ugly at this point compared to the really sleek ones that Microsoft has behind the scenes. I did a little reverse engineering to be able to make the images that kind of look like this and be able to come up with icons that look much more in that same style. Uh, there's a bit of a process to it, so I thought I would share it with a quick video here. So I'll start out with an icon. I'm going to use the University of Minnesota logo, Go Gophers. And the first thing is to, I, I would start with a 64 by 64 pixel image. And the first thing you want to do is increase the canvas size, anchoring to the top right, because that's where we want the, the actual icon itself to be. And it's a goofy icon size, so it's 85 pixels wide by 71 pixels high. You'll get some extra space in there, so I use the magic wand tool to get rid of that extra space. So now my logo is in the anchored to the upper right-hand corner of the page. Uh, I'm using paint.net, which is a free tool to be able to do this stuff. You can find it online at getpaint.net. So from here, I need to take this and make it white and make it very, very transparent. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is um, hit my adjustments, go to hue and saturation. I'm going to desaturate, pull all the color out of it, and I'm going to make it as light as white as I can. And by doing it that way, if there's any you know kind of partial transparency or dithering that's going on in the image uh, to begin with, that will uh, maintain in this future version. The other thing that has to be done is we need to change the overall transparency here. So I'll change the opacity of this layer to be, I've been using 46. It looks good to me. looks pretty consistent with what Microsoft's been doing. It makes it really tough to actually see what you've been working with here. So doing those other steps first is uh, how you want to do this. And then when I save this, I save it as a, a PNG. It'll keep that nice crisp format. It'll look really good when it loads up. And it's also a pretty small file size considering the small size of the icon here. Uh, so with that, it's going to look in uh, very much in this format. I'll add a quick little just uh, look at if we put that on a maroon background as any gopher logo should. Ah, yes, looks very sharp there. So you can see it has that same kind of transparency showing through, but very crisp in the way it shows there. And it's the same method I use to do it over here. So hope that's helpful if you want to do this uh, in your projects as well. Uh, have a good one. Bye.